All right, welcome everyone for joining us, uh, Metal Toad and Amazon, for our uh, webinar on uh, Amazon Analytics with uh, Amazon QuickSight. Um, I'm Nathan Wilkinson. I'm the VP of Engineering here at Metal Toad. Uh, with us is Ray Posius, who is a data engineer here at Metal Toad, and Geetika Vij, who is a partner solutions architect with AWS. Today, we're going to do a quick introduction. I'll tell you a little bit about Metal Toad. Um, we'll dive into some Amazon QuickSight analytics, um, some POC funding, and then we'll have some time at the end for questions. Uh, Metal Toad is a full service uh, AWS cloud consultancy. Um, as an advanced partner, we work with customers like Daimler's, Siemens Gamesa, and, and Claviot to solve, co to solve complex data analytics and ML problems. If you enjoy this webinar, uh, please join us back here on February 13th for ETL for machine learning and on uh, February 27th for bedrock for natural language processing. And with that said, I will hand it over to Gitika, who will go over some quick site uh, features and analytics. Thank you, Nathan. Let me quickly share my screen. Um, let me know if once you can see it. Looks good. Perfect. So hi, everyone. Um, let's talk about QuickSight and analytics in general a bit. Um, so data is the underlying force that fuels the insights and predictions that lead to better decision-making and innovation. But harnessing this data to reinvent your business can be very challenging, and it's really imperative to staying relevant right now. And in order to be ready for the future, organizations must be data-driven or be left behind. Richard Joyce, who's a senior analyst at Forrester, actually stated that for a typical Fortune 1000 company, just a 10% increase in data accessibility will result in more than 65 million additional net income. Forrester also estimates that data-driven businesses are growing at an average of more than 30% annually, which is huge. That being said, most organizations are not putting their data to work actually. And while companies are creating, collecting, and storing more data than ever before, much of it remains underutilized or not being used at all. Accenture actually found that 68% of the companies are not able to realize tangible and measurable value from their data. And in order to tap into that data, an organization must cultivate a data-driven culture, which means that data alone cannot unlock the trap value. And according to that same report, 55% of the companies have a mostly manual approach to discovering data within their enterprises and only 28% actually have a strategy in place to take advantage of analytics tools and infrastructure throughout the enterprise. Now, this is where QuickSight can actually help these companies who are underutilizing or struggling to utilize their data at all. So QuickSight actually enables BI for everyone in the organization that needs them in a format they want including automated augmented analytics, leveraging machine learning, and natural language querying for end users. QuickSight is built on a serverless architecture that enables consumption-based pricing and it auto-scales. Amazon QuickSight offers BI at any scale or what we would like to call hyperscale cost efficiently. And QuickSight integrates with a wide range of AWS and data analytics services to make it really easy for you to build an end-to-end -end modern data strategy. To drive insights and innovation from data, you need to make it easier to work with data at every step of the data journey for everyone who needs it in your organization. You also need a complete set of tools that account for the scale, volume, and variety of data and the main purposes for which you want to use it. An end-to-end -end data strategy or journey combines tools and resources for connecting to data sources, storing and querying that data, and integrating data for analysis and ML models. It also provides capabilities to catalog and govern the data, 
and ultimately help the end users develop data-driven insights. QuickSight actually realizes the last mile of a modern data strategy, helping in delivering insights from voluminous and complex data to business users across an organizations and even to customers. A testament to QuickSight's strengths and growth is a 100,000 strong customer base that spans individual industries and different use cases. Today, QuickSight has four key areas of products. First is enterprise BI capabilities, where you get a lot more options for visuals. You can introduce interactivity, have governed data access, and personalized dashboards for individuals. Augmented analytics with ML, natural language, and now with Gen BI, you're able to get faster insights into your data that is aided by AWS advances in ML. Next area is enterprise reporting in the cloud. With features like paginated reports and scheduled reports, you're able to distribute all of this in a readable format to all of your stakeholders. And finally, we have embedded analytics for ISVs and enterprises where you're able to take advantage of the APIs to embed your dashboards within your applications, whether they are external in nature or internal in nature. You can also cater to multi-tenancy use cases and customize your dashboard as per the individual stakeholders involved. Now, let's take a look at some of the key features uh, which are available with QuickSight. Of course, we don't have time to cover all the features which are available, but I'm going to try and highlight some that I think people who have joined this webinar will find helpful. Now, to start off, QuickSight is easily able to connect to a variety of sources, irrespective of whether they reside in an on-premise environment, in the cloud, or even within your applications. So if you see here, um, your most utilized databases like MySQL or PostgreSQL, or even having flat files, you're easily able to connect to them in your on-premises, or even in the cloud for that matter. With your data warehouse options like Amazon Redshift or Snowflake, you can connect to them, which may reside in your cloud. And applications such as X, which is formerly known as Twitter, or Jira or Salesforce, you are easily able to connect to them natively from within QuickSight. Now, there are two ways to analyze data in QuickSight. One way is that you can directly query your underlying database and Another way is by importing all of that data within SPICE. If you aren't familiar with that concept, SPICE is a super fast parallel in-memory uh, calculation engine. It provides consistently fast performance, no matter how many concurrent users you have. It is, again, completely serverless in nature, just like the rest of QuickSight. So there is nothing you need to do in order to manage it or even scale it. All of that is being taken care by AWS. We usually recommend to use it when you want to get better performance and to reduce your load on your underlying databases. With Amazon QuickSight, you're also able to scale to your users irrespective of where they reside and you're able to meet all of their security and compliance requirements, including um, FedRAMP, HIPAA compliance, PCI DSS, SOC, uh, SOC, and ISO compliances as well. Further, you can scale globally with QuickSight uh, since it's available in different regions, which allows you to collaborate across global teams easily. And it goes without saying that you get native high availability and fault tolerance with transparent data replication and backup as this is already being managed by AWS for you. Now let's talk a little bit about security feature. In the enterprise edition of Amazon QuickSight, you can restrict access to a data set by configuring role level security on it. Now, column level security is also a feature which is available. I won't go too much in depth about it, but let's ta continue talking about role level security or RLS. So whenever you share a data set with RLS, uh, with data set owners, they can actually still see all of the data, but 
whenever you, we are talking about readers or sharing it with readers, they can only see the data restricted by the permission data set rules. Also, whenever you are embedding a, your QuickSight dashboards and applications for, say, unregistered users of QuickSight, you can use role level security with tags. In this case, what you can do is you can use tags to specify which data your users can see in the dashboard, depending on who they are. You're also able to meet your auditing and logging needs uh, with QuickSight as it natively integrates with both CloudTrail as well as CloudWatch. So with CloudTrail, you're able to easily help answer questions like how many users have seen this dashboard, when they accessed it, or who created a new data set. Whereas when it comes to observation and responding to availability and performance in real time with QuickSight, you can do all of that with AWS, with um, CloudWatch native uh, integration. Now, embedding our dashboards is one of the most common use cases that we observe from our customers. And QuickSight allows you to deliver insights where your users and customers work within the context of the applications and portal. QuickSight provides comprehensive embedding capabilities to meet all your needs, be it visual embeddings for high traffic applications, dashboard embeddings for in-app analytics, sending branded email reports to thousands of the users while enforcing security, self-service authoring for power users, queue embedding for self-service insights, and anonymous public embedding on different websites. Now, paginated reporting is another useful and recent launch that enables you to deliver highly formatted reports and scale all of that within your users' inboxes. Reports can be scheduled for delivery as either PDFs or even CSV exports. Paginated reporting um, or the specific feature can actually help in deprecating legacy reporting systems and try to and consolidate dashboards and reporting use cases cost efficiently. So users can view the same source of truth across your dashboards and reports and don't really have to decide between the two. With unified authoring, there is no new learning which is involved with this specific feature. It is, again, a serverless feature, and it also auto-scales similar to what goes with QuickSight. It has a pay for usage and consumption-based pricing and auto-archival of up to one year. So you don't have to be saddled with expensive multi-year contracts for a product that you might not end up using. Now, let's jump into AI and ML capabilities. So in general, data skills and staff shortage is a big blocker for DNA success today. And this makes sense because analysts spend so much of their time on basic tasks that can be multi-step, complex, and overall, they, it might just take a lot of time. Um, they might also have to learn new tools, new capabilities, new features all the time. And what AI and ML has done is that it has helped remove all of these blockers um, and help them automate various tasks and breaking down barriers of access. QuickSight has actually been an early innovator in the space, starting with ML Insights launch back in 2019 and Q in 2020. And we get with it a lot of experience, knowledge that comes with getting capabilities out to the customers in the real world. And AWS in general has been committed to AI and ML. And you can, as you can see with our services like SageMaker, uh, Bedrock, Code Whisperer, et cetera. And this makes us well poised to take advantage of the next wave of growth in this space, which is being powered by generative AI and large language models. Now, let's start off by looking at the ML features, which are available within Amazon QuickSight. So QuickSight does provide a suite of ML part capabilities, including auto-narratives, 
ML predictions, anomaly detection, and forecasting along with Q to help automate insights generation and empower every BI user. Gartner actually talks about how the augmented consumer doesn't rely on traditional dashboards as the main or only way to analyze the data. They want to converse with their data and receive personalized automated insights that are timely and highly relevant to them. QuickSight leverages machine learning to help users extract more value from their data with less effort. And if you haven't worked with QuickSight Q before, it is a natural language query engine that actually empowers users to ask questions about their data in plain English. QuickSight also generates insights using this natural language to make it easy for any user, no matter their data savviness, to understand the key highlights hidden within their data. We have also built an unsupervised ML model called Random Quest Forest to power one-click forecasting and anomaly detection. Lastly, those along in, in their advanced analytics journey can leverage predictions from their own custom models they have built within Amazon SageMaker. And all out-of-the-box ML part capabilities make the lives of your developers and consumers easier by giving them new ways to find insights into their data. And we are also furthering the early innovation in QuickSight Q with now the new LLM capabilities available through Amazon Bedrock to provide Gen BI capabilities in QuickSight. This combination makes it really easy for organizations to explore data, discover insights, and share them. First, we are going to make it, one, it's going to make it so much easier for analysts to do their day-to-day -day tasks faster. Second, this will allow um, you to further enable your consumers or readers and make it easier to present as well as share the insights. Lastly, this is obviously going to be governed, secure, and accurate. So, and it's going to be really simple to get started with without the concerns that are often associated with this specific technology. Now, business analysts looking to create new visuals for a dashboard are often presented with unfamiliar data which means they spend hours exploring it to identify the right data fields and adding the correct filters within their visuals. And if they want to add calculation to their visual, they also need to look up the syntax and try to try out different combinations to achieve the desired results. And once they have built out this visual, then they spend a lot of time just fine tuning their visuals, just fine tuning their dashboards and so on. With the new Gen BI capabilities in QuickSight, it becomes really easy for these business analysts to quickly author and fine tune new visuals in seconds and add them to their dashboards using natural language powered by QuickSight Q. This new authoring experience also enables analysts to create new calculations using natural language um, without looking up or learning specific syntax. And creating a new dashboard or calculation is now as simple as using QuickSight Q and ask a few questions. Now, if, if I go back again, as we can see over here in this demo, all we are doing is we are specifying, say, regional sales by segment, and QuickSight Q will actually generate a visual for us. And you can try and build out your entire dashboard by just specifying the fields or the data that you're looking for within your visual. When it comes to quick calculations, all you have to do is mention um, what type of calculations you want to do, generate it, and then save it, and it's going to be available to you for use. And then you can obviously fine tune your visuals by specifying if you want to make any changes to the visuals. So for example, you might want to change the granularity or you might want to change the color or chart type. And it's all really easy with just natural language. You have to specify and QuickSight Q will author your visuals for you easily. Now, final, um, feature that I want to talk about is story within um, Amazon QuickSight. So 
One of the challenges that we have seen with democratizing data and insights is that even when dashboards are available and widely shared, it doesn't come with domain context that a business user is equipped with or a knowledge that LLMs have. Users who are not familiar with a dashboard may often no, not know what to look for or how exactly to consume the dashboard effectively. And typically what users end up doing is that they end up building narratives in time consuming and manual fashion. So think of like screenshots, copy and pasting of information from different sources and emails and so on. And a lot of these users are not actually design experts. So even if they can imagine what they really want, they don't really have the skills to be able to build it out easily. So this is why we, we came up with um, helping build persuasive stories fast and share that within the organizations. So this capability actually allows users to apply human intelligence and domain expertise through language and design. So you are able to generate actual stories using just AI. And you can build beautiful and refined data stories without having the design or writing expertise. And again, you have one unified experience within QuickSight instead of manual processes or having different tools for different use cases. Now, not, now that we have covered different uh, QuickSight features, let me hand over the mic to Ray, who will walk us through some of the case studies for QuickSight. Great, thank you, Judica. Let me just share my screen here. Now I'll go over uh, through a set of case study examples of Metal Toad, creating QuickSight solutions for our clients. So for the company of Virgin, we designed and created a dashboard that allows their executives to answer the most pressing questions that the company needs answered uh, for their customers, such as what are the top payment methods used by a geographical region? What is the percentage increase in in-app purchases by region, churn rate, and so on. So we began initially by discussing with them what kind of data they had, where was it stored, and in what way do we need to connect that with QuickSight, and what questions they wanted to answer. And then we as Metal Toad did the work of unlocking these key insights for them uh, with QuickSight. We also built out a dashboard for the website RPG Match which is a website used for connecting tabletop RPG players so that their team of developers and stakeholders can easily analyze their user growth and activity on their social networking site. And then SecureToad also came to us with needs for a dashboard to allow users of their security SaaS product to easily see how the system is protecting their site uh, by blocking harmful traffic to their site and allowing good traffic through. So users on the dashboard can see analytics of which types of activity were blocked, how much of it was good, how much of it was a high threat, et cetera. And with that, I'll hand us over to Nathan to talk about our proof of concept funding opportunity with AWS. Thank you, Ray. So if any of this is interesting to you, Amazon has several uh, funding mechanisms they can do to help uh, get your process started. The most common of which is their POC funding, it does have some limitations on the percentage of your uh, annual spend that's going to cover, and you have to work with a partner like Metal Toad, and it takes um, some time to get the paperwork through and do it. But if you're interested in learning more about this or about seeing if you qualify for a POC, uh, please reach out to Metal Toad, and we will uh, follow back up with you and uh, see what we can do to help. I'm not seeing any questions. So I'm going to say everyone have a great day. Thank you for joining us. And we hope to see you on the 13th. Thank you so much. See you there. Thanks. Bye-bye.